Hey guys, it's the fish, and I'm back with Subnautica. Um, so, in the last episode, we built this swank little house that's only really one room, but uh, it will it will go forward. We powered it with uh, a solar panel on the roof, so now we can use a fabricator. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Now let's put that away. Cause that seems dangerous. I don't think I can even use that now. Let's finish constructing it and put that away. Can't be trusted to have uh, the fabricating tool while I'm uh, around other things. So we made the fabricator. We made we tested out the different uh, lockers here, and just having a look at the stuff that's in there. So that one is a five by six, which is a thirty storage, whereas I think this one's a forty-five. Uh, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six by eight. So that's even more. So that's more of a. That's a forty-eight. So it's even. It's even better. And they don't really cost that much more to make. So I think that one's probably the one we'll start making, as opposed to the wall-mounted one. I know the wall takes a lot less, but it holds a lot less. Um, also, I've found out what those little white boxes are as well. So I want to go and show you guys. Uh, what the point of those little boxes is, if I can find one. You know what's funny? I could find millions of them when I didn't need them. Charge, 21 of 25. Yeah, I could, uh, I could find millions of them when I didn't need them. Or I didn't know what the hell they were. There's one. So, what I can do is I can actually scan them. And Seamoth Fragment, I believe the Seamoth is actually a submarine that we can build. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and I'm going to try and find all these fragments because I think that's going to be a big key to us moving forward with building a Seamoth. Uh, so it looks like we've got one out of five of those. So we just need to find the rest of them. Now, having a look, I'm not sure, but maybe... Some of the stuff has respawned. I'm not 100% sure. Emergency. Um, oh. Ten seconds of oxygen. Luckily there's a warning. And I didn't pick that one that doesn't have a warning. That's a beautiful moon, eh? really like that moon. Is there another moon? There is. There's two moons. A normal moon, like what we would be used to seeing. And then this big Mars type thing that's real close. So I think it's worth our time to go and find all these Seamoth fragments. I'd say they're like artifacts or something like that uh, that we discovered uh, that got blown out of the, the actual Aurora ship when we crashed. And now we can go around and collect them all. A bit like Pokemon, except they should give us something a bit better than, uh, than just Pokemon. Now... Past that, I'm not really sure where we're going to go with this because uh, I am a little bit lost as to what else we can actually do with this game. Um, I guess I need to do a bit of reading on what I could potentially do, but what I'd like to do is start building a base maybe deeper uh, into the ocean. This little starter base is good. It's, it's been a good little base for us to start with, because that way we don't have to keep going up into our, um, our life pod there. But I think we need to explore further. We need to go deep into the ocean and start just generally collecting better stuff. And no doubt, because this is a sea game, the better stuff is going to be deeper. So that's three of those fragments already, and I swear I've seen a lot of them, so most of this episode is probably going to be us just trying to find these fragments. And then maybe we can even build one, but we probably don't have the resources this, at this stage. We probably don't have enough metal. Uh, metal's definitely been something I've struggled to find. It's definitely been something I've been struggling to find. Uh, because it's, it's all just scrap metal at this stage. Um, now, no doubt you'll eventually mine metal or something like that. And there I go saying that I've been struggling with metal uh, and then I get nothing but metal. And I haven't had any success digging as well. So, if anyone's watching this and uh, they've got some tips or advice for the game, for uh, 
progressing a little bit more to make the, the episodes a bit more interesting, uh, please feel free to comment and just let me know. Um, I'm really interested to hear because I really think that that's something we can do. Hey guys, it's the fish. I'm back. Um, did a little bit of a glitch there, and then I started recording. I probably got about a couple of minutes of stuff before I realised it wasn't recording it. Uh, not a big deal though. Uh, all you missed was me collecting one fragment, uh, which is not really a big deal. You've seen me collect three others before, so we're up to four fragments now, and we're just just searching for that fifth one. And I'm convinced that it's near my base. Somewhere in the vicinity of the base. And I can't really scan him. Might as well figure out what he can do for me. Probably stab him, but we've added some details about that, whatever it is. Um, I collected a ton of metal. If you have a look in my inventory, look at all that metal salvage. So we'll go and turn that into titanium shortly. I just want to find this fifth. Uh, fragment for the sea moth, and once I do, uh, I really think we're in a good position uh, that we can start focusing on the materials we need to build the sea moth, and that'll give us a mobile base that we can use to just oh, look at all this metal. There's even gravity. Like I, haven't, I hadn't noticed that before. How like um, you know, everything sinks to the bottom. It's a bit weird that it only just started sinking before, but that's right. You want to go? You want to go? I didn't think so. Let's scan him though. Oh! Oh! Oh, he's attacking me, he's attacking me. He doesn't like me. Yep, he does not like me. That's really weird. Oh! I died. I died. He really didn't like me. I lost all that salvage. Oh my god. <sighs> well, first time we've died in this game, so I guess now we know what it's like. And we died. Oh! Did I just see the fragment over there? I thought I saw the fragment over there. Might have been a. F that, fag that fragment might have been a figment. That's really rude. What a jerk. Oh, well, pick up some more salvage, I guess. And try and find this elusive last fragment. Oh, there it is. There it is, guys. The f last fragment. And hopefully, once we've got that, we can figure out what we actually need to build it. Oh, we might run out of oxygen by the time. Nah, we'll be right. It's at 80% now. Emergency. No, you're seconds right. Of it's all good. Remaining. We made it with plenty of time. I can't believe how aggressive that dude was. That, um, that fish was. It's been nothing aggressive this whole game, and then suddenly that guy just goes nuts on me. Hmm. Uh, let's catch this little peeper as well. The peepers are actually really good food. Uh, food source because uh, they provide a lot of food value. Uh, let's see if we can get one more fish. I'm starting to get a little bit hungry. There's a peeper. Let's get him. Come on. Uh, you can't run forever, mate. Gotcha. Let's go in here. Let's we'll stop. Now we're back in and we'll have a look at our inventory. And at blueprints, so now we have the sea moth. It's a one person submersible. I need very little actually. The lubricant's probably the one thing that I don't know how I'm supposed to put it together. And I'm really disappointed I lost all that metal, but uh, such is life. Uh, so, what we'll do is try and figure out lubricant. No, it's not in that one, it'll probably be advanced. Nope. No. Hmm. Maybe sustenance. Personal, maybe equipment. Why would I need lubricant for? 
Deployables. Oh, mobile vehicle bay. Fabricates vehicles from raw materials. Oh, okay, I might even need that. Beacon, don't need to worry about that or that. No. Do I just miss lubricant? Well, let's turn that first. Need to break that down. I am missing something because I can't find lubricant. Hmm. Unless. No. Okay, I'm not really sure what. how you actually make lubricant. Uh, but first, we're going to have to cook some peeper. So we're getting a little on the hungry side, and if we cook up this peeper. Now we can just eat it. Now we're going to get out of that. And we'll just eat the peeper. And yeah, we'll eat that one as well. Um, actually. No, we don't need that. Maybe it's in here. Maybe lubricant's in here. No, 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 no. Ooh, Cyclops. Vast industrial use submarines. That must be the big submarine. The Seamoth must be a small one. Moon pool to upgrade the Seamoth. Okay, so there's multiple versions of the Seamoth, which is good. I don't care about that or that. An observatory. Look at the ocean life. Yep, cool multi purpose room. Don't care about a bench. I really want that Seamoth. Lubricant. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I cannot find lubricant. Tell you what, I'll leave this episode here, and I will go and try and find out how to make lubricant, and I will uh, come back to you once I know that. All right, guys, uh, I've been the fish. Uh, this has been Subnautica, and I'll see you next time.